Yo, what's going on everybody? Nelson Chan from Hoopin' Life. Look who do we have. Finally returned the homie, Kayla. Yo, what's up guys? So the 2017 Christmas games had just ended and there were some good games, but better yet, there were some great sneakers being worn that day. We're talking about Christmas themed sneakers, which include PEs, Customs, Jordans, and just a lot of heat in general. And you know the Xmas games are a huge deal. You got a lot of great matchups. It's national televised games. Mm -hmm. So you know the players got to bring out the goodies for the day. Yeah, I've got to show out for the fans. Starting things off, we're going to go with the King. He brought out the Keith LeBron 15s, man. What do you think about these? Yo, so he brought out the Performance LeBron 15s with Keith. Yo, these are pretty nice. They look like rose gold. The only difference is that the zipper going down the middle. So it just adds some type of aesthetic right. to it. But add a little, little touch to it. It looks really, really premium, man. You got the rose gold look. And, you know, that zipper on the upper, it just like, it doesn't really make it a basketball shoe look like. But, you know, LeBron the King, he can have whatever he wants. But uh, this is just a really clean colorway, man. I think it adds nothing to the performance of the shoe. But it's just purely aesthetics. And also, this pair, the zoom bags are... are paint it out or yeah it? I mean that, that's one thing I didn't really like about the, the air max kicks you mm -hmm. know when they paint over the air bubbles because the whole idea is to have the air bubbles so you can see the air bubbles so you paint over it kind of like yeah kind of like the first shoe like the when they had the KD-10 KD some of the colorways yeah that white they, and blue pair yeah they like, blocked out the airbags I didn't really like that either so that's the only thing that's a little iffy about the shoe but the color is pretty dope on court and the zipper it's good aesthetics yeah all right so speaking of LeBron James we're gonna talk about LeBron James arch nemesis Draymond Green just kidding they're not he's not his arch nemesis they're they're actually homies. Yeah, they're actually, hey guys, if you guys didn't already know, these guys are actually great friends on the court. They're not friends at all, but off the court, these guys are great friends. These, they actually hang out. Draymond went to the troll LeBron James, so he wore his Hyperdunk 2017s, the final edition, and he got him custom. So what did he custom with? Arthur the Fist. The Arthur Fist. But, but on the shoe, there's okay, no Arthur yeah. Fist though, but. Uh, it's it's kind of goofy though, but you know you got yeah, the like Arthur in the Christmas tree. He, you know uh, he's all like you know. Got the little ornament head. hanging from the swoosh. Oh, I actually, did, I actually didn't see that part. The ornament on the swoosh. Yeah, and then the fly knit on the the lacelets. The that's loops. pretty cool. On the eyelets, lacelets, eyelets. Uh, lace where you put the loops. laces through the the hoops, right? Yeah. Those are different colors. So hey, it's a white shoe which has small little details, which makes it pretty clean. So yeah, it's kind of goofy, but uh. I guess like, Draymond Green's just a goofy guy, dude. Yeah, but I guess Draymond wants to keep it PG, didn't want to put the fist. Is, is that why? I don't know. Is, is, is that rated R or something? <laughs> nah. Next up, we got two sneakers that are similar in colorways, the Nike PG1s and the Anta KT3s. No one cares about the Anta KT3s, but, so let's talk about the PG1s. So, the PG1s... Hey, man, Ant, you're sleeping on the Anta KT3s, man. Hey, the KT3s are actually a pretty good performer, and this colorway right here, it's pretty it's pretty dope, man. I mean, look, we just gonna forget the PG1s, man. We talk about PG1s all the time, so let's just get straight into the PG3s. PG3s. Oh, see, so you already think about PG. The you're KT3. About PG. Look at that. Anyway, we got a two tone okay. colorway, you know, with like a crimson and then like a lime bolt so gray. So it's like a what the almost. So. Kind of, yeah. That's kind of like mismatched. It's clean shoes. though, you know, okay. just a white base. But speaking of shoes, man, they're pretty clean. I call these the, the Kool Aid colorways, man. But all right, let's yeah, freaking add some. That's not PG's, PG's, man. Though. All right, so look, we, we got the lime green colorway base with like a crimson, like, or is that a red swoosh? You okay, know, it looks trim. like a crimson. Because okay, it's probably orange. It's probably yeah, orange. It's orange. Okay, see, yeah, yeah. Right? So, Volt, kind of similar to like the Grinch colorway almost. Like, nah, got that type of Volt. Nah, it's a lighter, it's like a lime green. It's, a li it's lime green. Yeah, man. I, I personally think these look whack, man. You know, we're a huge fan of PG1s, and we've seen like the best colorways. And uh, this is one of the, I mean, it stands out, you know. It's flashy. Yeah. It's better than that all white Volt colorway that, you know, the general release one, where it's just like all Volt and then it's like the just tennis white. balls. Yeah, the tennis Yeah, those are. I personally like, like the tennis balls more than this one. Really? Yeah. What? To each your own. Nah, I guess so. All right, next up, we have a surprise sneaker worn by JaVale McGee. What? Yeah. JaVale McGee. He's Shaq the GOAT, man. He's Shaq the, the full MVP. He's the GOAT, man. MVP in something. <laughs> no, wait. Did he he has a championship. There? <laughs> I'm not even sure he played. Don't Anyways, play we're talking about sneakers. JaVale McGee, I wasn't even aware, but he wore the Q4s. The Q4s? Yeah. We're a little familiar with Q4. Yeah, shout out to Q4, man. Yeah. We got a, a so he, Q4s. Yeah, so he wore the elf colorway, they claim it. It's a, it's a lime green with the strawberry pink type shoe. I Very call nice. these the strawberry kiwis, man. Yeah, man, it's, it's like strawberry, strawberry kiwis, kiwi. man. So these are 495 high tops. Q4, hey, doing big things. I thought, I mean, for the longest time, JaVale McGee was signed with Peak. Yeah. But uh, I, I guess he wasn't anymore. I guess, you know, with Q4, you know, Q4 stepping up, man. Q4 is, you know, climbing up the ladder. Hey, Peak? All these players. Hey, we're talking about Peak? Hey, shout out to Q. Remember he came hey, from Peak? Hey, yeah, he was from yeah. Peak, dude. Hey, Q. Big Q. All right, other Christmas themed sneakers consist of the Nike Kobe ADs, the LeBron Soldier 11s, and the Hyperdunk 2017s. And uh, these are what it looks like. So, sadly, this year's 
Christmas themed kicks for Nike signature models. Kind of disappointing, I'll be honest. Seriously, man. So first off, they didn't even release a Christmas pack for Nike this year. They Nike's have, messing up. Like, they didn't have Christmas jerseys, Christmas apparel, and no Christmas sneakers. They've had Christmas releases every single every year for the last like what, at least five, six plus years. Yeah, now nothing this year. Kind of sad. Nike, but, man. What's up, man? Yeah, what's up with that? Nike, you like the top name brand. You ain't gonna yeah, release nothing. Yeah, you gotta to release something. Plus, the ones the players wore were pretty disappointing as well. Like, yeah, I, we're I'm not hating on green colorways, but like, they're kind of boring. They're all boring. The, they look like a all generic the, shoe. All the other previous Christmas models, they had some type of special detail yeah. and crazy colors, but it was just basic this time around. Right. So I guess we'll start with the Hyperlink 2017, which, which is I think, probably the best one. Yeah, colorway wise, right? We got the green upper, we got the green to lime green gradient midsole, mm -hmm. icy sole, the gold swoosh, red laces. Pretty clean. This was probably the best Christmas colorway out of all the Nike Christmas yeah, shoes. I would agree, man. All right, so enough about the Hyperlink. Let's talk about the LeBron soldiers. This one's even more basic than this. This is boring as hell, man. Like, you know, green I, upper, lime green back heel cup, gold swoosh, icy sole. It's pretty much the I, same I setup. bet you if, if Nike didn't put the red hints on it to make it Christmas themed, this would be definitely a generic looking colorway. You know, just like yeah. a two-tone green with like a gold swoosh. You know? This for sure wouldn't sell out. That's for sure. Oh, the Hyperlink wouldn't sell out either, but it, yeah. colorway wise, it's better. Yeah, it's the same exact colorway, just on a different sneaker, but it just looks a lot more boring on this LeBron soldier. Like, I feel like they could have done something with the straps. Yeah, Maybe it, the if straps. they made the straps different color, like yeah, red or gold or something, that would be tight. It doesn't even have to be that great looking as long as it stands out because it's a Christmas day sneaker, right? Yeah. That's the whole point. The LeBron soldier, pretty basic, looks boring. So moving on to Kobe AD. Uh, this one I could talk about how I was super, I mean, it's probably the second best looking one's better than LeBron, but I was still kind of disappointed because you know, the Kobe AD is one of my favorite, you know, uh, mm -hmm. performance hoop shoes that I, I've been waiting to, for the Kobe AD Christmas to drop. I was like, oh man, I can't wait till the Kobe AD Christmas drop. It might be like a super dope colorway, super crazy, you know, details or whatever. And I was gonna cop. But then after, you know, yesterday I looked at it when people were wearing them, I was like, oh man, for real, you came this out with like this? This looks like a generic colorway. I would have to agree with Nelson. Kobe AD is my go-to. I'm on my third pair right now. It's a really good performance shoot, but this Christmas theme is just boring this year. I can probably pump out some way better looking Christmas theme shoes. All right, go on Nike AD right now. All right. All right. <sighs> All right, next up, moving on to Adidas sneakers. We got Swaggy P in some customized player exclusive T Mac 3s. I bet you everybody in the comment section below don't What's even know what T Mac 3 is. Oh my goodness, who's T Mac? So he wore a mismatch colorway of a yellow pair and a blue pair. Shout out to the blue pair. I had the blue pair and the red pair. I actually did this before. I wore the red pair and the blue pair together in the game before. So you're a Crip or you're a Blood? Like, like T Mac did it All Star. You know, T Mac was one of my favorite players back in the day. So, you know, what T Mac did in All Star game, I did it in my games. You know, with the red and blue. You play nothing like T-Mac. I'm all about T-Mac. I be banging on everybody at like, you know, fifth grade. But anyways, yeah. Swaggy P with the, the gold and blue T-Mac 3s, man. What do you think? They look like a candy pack. They look like hard candy that shines. On the court, they stand out a lot. It matches his Golden State jerseys. I got nothing against it. I'm not that big of a fan of the T-Mac. But I have to say, it's kind of funny because I was watching this game and the commentators made fun of his shoes. Like, if I wore mismatched shoes, I wouldn't step out on the court, blah, blah. I wouldn't play some something along the lines. I thought that was you pretty know why? Because they ain't swaggy, man. They ain't swaggy. Because they old school. Swaggy P. You don't be doing stuff like that because he's swaggy. I approve of this, man, because I did this before. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy because it has a swaggy P logo on the tongue, which looks kind of tight. And I don't see the P. It's right here, dude. The P. Oh, so I was like a swaggy P and looks like a Christmas tree. Ooh. No, I think that's a pyramid, bro. <laughs> Illuminati. Next up, we got the Kevin Law wannabe, the mm -hmm. James Hardens. Oh, you know, my James Harden player. broke out the Harden Volume Ones in this clean white and green colorway, man. Yep. What do you think? It looks like a little like heather gray or camel looking back. They got a green toe box. They got the uh, translucent missile. And they got the rope laces with the green uh, lace tips. Yeah. Pretty clean. For Overall a clean colorway, man. Like, for the, the, outsole, the outsole is tight because the full thing's green. Yeah, I would so this shoe, it's pretty basic, but it still stands out enough. So it's not doing too much, not doing too little. This Personally, green looks better than the, the Hunter green that Nike did, yeah. right? I mean, but it stands a lot more. Personally, I was not a fan of the Harden ones, but... It looks clean. Aesthetically, the Harden Value One is probably one of the best looking sneakers. Yeah, it is. They were kind of trash on court though. They were, man. Really bad heel slippage. Traction was kind of bad. Traction was 50-50, man. All right, moving on to Jordan brand. We got Melo in the M13s, and we got Chris Paul in the CB310 AEs. So what do you think about them now? I mean, I really like the, the M13s, man. You got that green and the orange, kind of looking like the University of Miami. It yeah, it stands clean. out a lot. We got the forest screen that matches the Christmas theme, and we got the orange to match the OKC. Overall, this shoe just stands out a lot. I personally wouldn't wear this shoe because it's like good looking but ugly at the same time. So it's good right. looking because I mean, because green theme. green is always hard to match, right? Yeah, you know, especially with orange too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So how many 
how many clothes do we have that are like Miami colorways? Yeah, yeah like, not not, nah, a, not too many. But uh, the Chris Pauls on the other hand are kind of funky, man. They look like a melted candy cane. Yeah, mix. I was just gonna say that some type of melted ice cream or something like. That. It looked like a melted candy cane on. Man, CP didn't even play though, man. Yeah, so you know what? Who cares about the shoe? Just kidding. This is a good looking shoe, but ugly shoe at the same time, right? This is a good looking shoe for the Christmas theme. Yeah. But off the Christmas theme, yeah. this is pretty ugly. I don't like the holes, man. If it didn't have the holes, I think it would look a lot better. All right, other players who brought out some fire J's were Amir Johnson, Marcus Morris, and PJ Tucker, man. Bam! These three shoes, man. What do you think? We got the Gatorade 6s, we got some custom 11s, and we got the PSNY 10s, man. So, first off, Gatorade 6s, I actually like those a lot. I they actually like those a lot, hey. too, man. Just like, you know, like the, the M13s, you know, we got the green and orange. Gatorade 6s, there's going to be a general release that will be accessible to the public. Marcus Morris, on the other hand, brought out some custom Jordan 11s. So, as you can see, he used the base from the Win Like 82s, painted the Jumpman red. I didn't even notice that, man. Yeah, so you can already tell with the icy sole and then the, the navy in the back. The sock liner, yeah. yeah. I can tell these are the like 82s, mm. which is actually a pretty dope colorway. But he painted Jumpman red, and as you can see on a patent leather, green with snowmans and clovers. I think it looks corny as hell, to be honest. This looks like a shoe you can buy from one of those fake websites. For real, right? <laughs> and it's not, like for 50 not, bucks. Hey, stuff. not handy as Marcus Morris, but for a Christmas theme, this is pretty sick. Obviously, it's clever, you know, it's uh, the snowflakes are tight. Yeah, he got I, the, I'm just not a fan of the like the, the clover leaves, man. Like, Well, the clovers is because the Boston Celtics. I know, yeah, but like you know when Ky Kyrie put his clover leaves on his Kyrie's, like, it just look, doesn't look good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You it's know, not like, a good looking picture or something. But I've seen way better customs that actually look legit with the clovers before. No, Kyrie's, Kyrie's. Yo, the best part is Marcus Moore's snowman has a headband, dude. Oh, That's like probably the best thing. Oh, I dang, I barely noticed that. But yeah, overall, we'll give Marcus Moore's A for effort for the Christmas theme customs. All right, guys, so the biggest banger for the Christmas theme sneakers has to be PJ Tucker. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys aren't aware, but PJ Tucker wore the PSNY 10s. So the PSNY 10s are never released to the public. These are strictly just family and friends. A lot of people haven't even seen these before. Yeah. I've personally only seen them online. I've never seen them in person. I thought they were customs at first, but then after I was like, oh wait, no, I think I've seen that colorway before. But uh, PJ Tucker is one of the biggest, if not biggest, sneakerhead in the NBA. Yeah. He got he the has. craziest sneakers. Yo, he got the crazy limited edition sneakers. He got crazy PEs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if he buys it from sneaker stores, like consignment stores, or does he know the players and they give it to him? I really don't even know how he gets it. Probably a combination of both. Uh, yeah, because like he collects it from way back probably yeah. too. He's wearing crazy sneakers on and off the court. Like on the court, for sure, has to be the biggest sneaker head. He's wearing some crazy shoes. Kicks on court champion, dude. He's he wearing... needs to wear the Nelly ones, man. Then, then he'll win for sure. Yeah, or the K-Law ones. Last but not least, we got some crazy customs by Carl Anthony Towns. Clint Capella and Lonzo Ball with some Grinch customs. Grinch customs? Yeah. So Grinch. you're saying they stole Christmas? Yeah. Whoa, well, they can't really steal Christmas if someone didn't even play. That's true, huh? Mm. Oh, but, but these customs yeah, are pretty yeah, fire, yeah. though. Let's start off with Clint Capella, man. He got a reindeer. He got the Grinch on there. He got some trees on there. This is actually a legit custom. The drawings look good. It looks like clean work. So, A went to that. Next up, we got Carl Anthony Towns. Same thing with the Grinch customs, but he's wearing a 2016 Hyper Dunk. These. I think tops off the other one. The, I think these Grinch customs are better. You know, you got the candy cane swoosh, you got the snowflakes, and uh, I think the blend on the upper looks better than, you know, Clint Capella's blend. Not knocking his off, but I think this one looks more clean. Um, this one's like real subtle, yeah. but real clean. So yeah. this actually blends in Minnesota Timberwolves colorway really yeah. well, but you still see the Christmas aspects. Which is, you know, the Grinch on, you know. Yeah, the Grinch and the snowflakes and the candy cane swoosh. And look, you can even look at the... Dude, the the, the, the also looks kind of looks like yeah. there's something on it, you know, but mm -hmm. we can't see. These are very clean. You can't yeah. always with the customs, man. You know, like, he had that... uh Dragon Ball Z custom. Dragon Ball Z, and then the... What is the Northern Lights customs? Mm-hmm. Uh, no cat. Uh, he actually really likes the shoe, too, man. He always... He's been wearing the 2016 Hyper Dunk, like, quite a few times. Yeah. Size 20. Last but not least, even though he didn't play... Lonzo Ball brought us some brand new Triple B Z02s in the Grinch Customs. What do you think about these, man? I gotta admit, so Mosh did this custom. The Grinch looks freaking realistic. This it looks like he's about to come out and yeah, just kind of, you know, just kind of grab The you. work on this is really good. From what we can see, the Grinch looks so realistic. I'm kind of scared. I don't even want to look at the shoe. Loki, I mean. Grinch is going to steal my Christmas. Obviously, the detailing and the custom of the part of the shoe looks really good, but I think the shoe overall looks really ugly. To wrap up the video, man, I, I, I got a question for you, Kev, and for you guys, too. What was your favorite all-time Christmas game sneaker? 
Gotta think about this. There's so many Christmas themed sneakers, so many years. But I'm kind of biased. I'm biased because Kobe's shoes are probably my favorite. So I'm gonna have to go with Kobe 5 Chaos. Okay. Oh my god, those. So the reason I choose Kobe 5 Kobe Chaos. Kobe 5 Chaos is one of the best Kobe's ever. So first off, my favorite Kobe model is Kobe 5 and 6. So Kobe 5 Chaos, I like how it just stands out so much and there's a lot of pop in the shoe, but it's still And it's clean and subtle at the same time. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Kobe 5 Chaos. That's one of my go-tos. Not mad at you, man, not mad at you. Yeah, I currently, I wish I had a pair. I do not have a pair, but I, I remember when I used to work at Foot Locker, they put those in a glass case, but back then they only had like one glass case. And so you had to put the hot shoe in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was crazy, man. For my pick, I thought you were gonna pick, take this pick, actually, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was probably on your mind, too. My favorite X-Men sneaker of all time has got to be the Kobe 6 Grinches, right? Because that was such an iconic shoe. Everybody wants to have the Grinch. Grinch colorway, you know, if you have the super lime green with the red laces, everyone's trying to do Grinch cu customs. Obviously, you know, you got players nowadays with Grinch, Grinch customs. Yep. I remember when Kobe first debuted, when the whole Laker team debuted the shoe, everybody was like, oh my god, what kind of shoe is that? That shoe is so ugly, blah, blah, blah. All these haters, man. until like the hype built on it, everybody started loving it and stuff. But yeah. hey, true Kobe fan right here, when I first saw that shoe, I was like, that shoe was hot. It was fire. Couldn't wait to cop them. Unfortunately, I couldn't cop them. <laughs> <laughs> those, those were super limited, wait, man. Your, your locker didn't get them? Nah, my full locker. Uh, my Beverly House Hoops uh, Beverly Center got them. When Center. I went to get them, it was, you know, it was sold super, out. super. Back long then, lines. it was all lines. There was yeah. No raffles, no nothing, yeah. man. There was like hundreds of people. So, you know, I got there, I saw the line, I was like, all right, not gonna get them. So I just went home, man. Hey, but you're not wrong. You know, Kobe's, Kobe 5 Chaos and Kobe 6 Grinch. They're about tied for my, hand my hand. favorite shoe. If I would say Kobe 6 will be a 10 out of 10, and then the, the Chaos 5s will be a 9.5 right behind it, man, real close. Thank you guys for watching that video on the Christmas game sneakers being worn this year. Uh, let us know down in the comments below, what was your favorite you know, Christmas game sneaker this year You know, from the past Christmas Day games? And also number two, what was your all-time favorite Christmas game sneaker? Again, shout out to my boy uh, Kev, Kayla, you know, he will be Coming back, sneak peek, you know, on more uh, videos, you know, uh, you know, we for got reasons some, undisclosed, yeah, reasons undisclosed, you know, uh, you guys will find out very, very soon. But anyways, you know, Mochi will also be in some videos, you know what I'm saying? But like, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys, you know, like the content, you guys want to see more basketball sneakers or anything related to that. Uh, make sure to watch these other videos up here. Check out our social medias in the description box down below. And until next time, Nelson and Kev from Hoopin' Life, we out. Peace. Peace.